everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jessie and today we are doing my most anticipated video. I love doing this video every month, my June TBR Roll the Dice game. So before we get started, I do have a quick announcement to make because I started a book club. If you aren't aware, I will link the announcement video down below. I started a sci-fi fantasy book club here on YouTube. We have an Instagram page, we have a Discord server. I'm really, really excited about it. Every month I will be featuring a different fantasy or sci-fi booktuber who will come on to the channel to be a guest host and will be participating in a live show where we discuss the book that we picked out at the end of the month. So for the month of June, the guest host for our book club is Books with Brittany, whose channel I absolutely love. She is an avid fantasy reader, getting a lot more into sci-fi. So I couldn't wait to ask her. And the book that we decided upon for June was Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. I've been wanting to read this book for so, so long. So I'm so excited to finally be picking it up with all of you guys. And I'm so excited to chat with you all throughout the month as we're getting through this book together and then to chat with Brittany at the live show. I can't wait for that. So if you want to join us, uh, I'll definitely link all of the information down below, the Instagram, the Discord server, join us. So now that that announcement is out of the way, let's get to rolling the dice to see which books I will be reading in June. All right, let's do this. Roll one. Number six, that is Armada by Ernest Cline, which I'm so excited for because I love Ready Player One. So this will be my first read of the month and I will erase and replace. And the book that is now on the number six spot is Anyone by Charles Sewell. So let's do rule number two. That is number one, which is Burn by Patrick Ness, the new release for the month. I already pre-ordered this, so it is already on its way. I can't wait to read this one. It's my, one of my most anticipated of the entire year. And the book that is now on the new release spot is Mexican Gothic, and this is a gothic thriller horror book that sounds so good. So let's do roll number three. It's number eight and that is Storm Dancer by Jay Kristoff. This is a Japanese inspired steampunk fantasy. I am all for it. So that will be my third book of the month and I will replace and I have replaced that with Wicked Saints, which has been on my TBR for quite a while now. So we will do roll number four. Number five, that is Grey Sister by Mark Lawrence, the second book in the Book of the Ancestor trilogy. I really enjoyed Red Sister, so I'm very excited to be continuing on with this series. I've heard it only gets better and better. Right, and I replaced that with The Blinding Knife, which is the second book in the Lightbringer series. So let's do roll number five. If you don't see that, that landed on number eight, which is Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan. So I will finally, finally be getting this off of my TBR and onto my red shelf, which I'm very excited about. And I replaced that with A Curse So Dark and Lonely, which has been on my TBR for just as long as Wicked Saints has. So I need to get some of these YA fantasies off of this TBR. Roll number six. Number 12. That is The Broken Girls by Simone St. James. I loved Sundown Motel, which I read earlier this year. So I immediately picked up her other book and I'm really excited. I've heard it's a very ghostly type thriller. So, so excited for this one. And I replaced that with The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. I really enjoyed Final Girls by him. So we will see if I roll that one. And last roll, roll number seven. Number seven. That is Artemis by Andy Weir. I loved, loved The Martian by Andy Weir. Weir, however you say it. <laughs> so I'm really excited to finally be getting to this one. 
And next time I will have all systems red on the whiteboard. I am so excited for this month. Wow. Okay, let's go over the books that I rolled for the month of June. So again, first book that I'll be reading is for the book club, which is Kings of the Wild. The next book I will be reading is The Broken Girls by Simone St. James. I am so excited for this one because I loved the Sundown Motel. I loved how spooky and ghostly that was. And I've heard that this is very similar. Some people actually prefer this one to the Sundown now motel so I'm really really excited to read this. The next book I've had on my TBR for so long and that's Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan. I'm so glad that this is finally going to be the month that I get to this because I've heard mixed reviews. Some people love this book, some people really really don't like it and I'm very curious to see where I land on that spectrum of reviews. The next book I'm going to be reading is Storm Dancer by Jay Kristoff. This is the first book in the Lotus War series. This was actually, I think, Jay Kristoff's first published series. And I've read his Lifelike series. I've read his Nevernight Chronicles. I really, really like his writing style. It's very quirky. It's definitely not for everyone, but I personally enjoy it. So I'm excited to see if his first series is as good as his later series. And what really sold me on this series is it's Japanese inspired steampunk fantasy. <laughs> Say no more. Sounds amazing. I can't wait to start this series. The next book I'll be reading is Grey Sister by Mark Lawrence, the sequel to Red Sister, which I read last month and really, really enjoyed. I gave that book four stars. I have a full review of it that I will link down below. So this is picking up where we left off from the first book love Nona. I can't wait to get back into her story and see where this goes. And now that we're kind of out of that assassin school setting, I'm really, really excited to see how the world and the characters develop even more in this book. I've heard that this one's a lot better than the first one, and I really enjoyed the first one, so count me in. And then the next book I'll be reading is Artemis by Andy Weir. <laughs> he wrote The Martian, which is one of my top 10 books of all time. I loved The Martian so much. I know that this one isn't as well reviewed as The Martian was, but I still want to give it a shot because I loved his writing so much and I loved the character of Mark Watney. So if any of his writing or character work is in Artemis, like it was in The Martian, I'm gonna be happy. I think I'm gonna really enjoy this. So I hope that I do enjoy this. I think it's like a moon colony space. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so bad at describing books. Honestly, I didn't even read really the synopsis because I just saw the author and was like, I'll buy it. <laughs> And then the last book I'll be reading is Armada by Ernest Klein, another one where I loved the first book I read by Ernest Klein, which is Ready Player One. Love that book. Not as much as Martian, but I still really, really enjoyed my time with Ready Player One. I think it's one of the most fun books I've ever read. So I'm really excited to start Armada. Again, I don't, don't think this one is as well reviewed as Ready Player One. Not nearly as popular, but it has such a cute premise. The premise behind this one is that this boy is like the ultimate gamer. He plays this virtual reality like space invasion game, but then the video game becomes reality where a space invasion actually occurs and he knows how to beat it because he's played this video game that's gotten him really good at defeating these aliens. So I'm really curious to see where this one goes. I've been wanting to read it for so long ever since I finished Ready Player One, so we will see how I enjoy it. And then the last book I have to read is Burn by Patrick Ness. This one is one of my most anticipated of the entire year because Patrick Ness wrote one of my favorite young adult fantasy dystopian series, which is The Knife of Never Letting Go. That whole Chaos Walking trilogy I think is severely underrated. I love that series. So I've been so excited for whatever Patrick Ness has to come out with. And the fact that he wrote a fantasy with dragons I'm, I'm in. Count me in. I'm so excited for this one. So definitely we'll be letting you guys know my thoughts on this. And then I also have one additional book that I really, really want to get to next month because Books with Brittany, who is the guest host for my book club next month, is hosting a buddy read. And I will also link her announcement video down below for that buddy read. She will be rereading The Way of Kings in anticipation for Rhythm of War coming out later this year. I've been wanting to do a reread of Way of Kings for so long, even though I remember so much of it, so many details 
in that book are so important and to go back through and like be able to tab it and annotate it I really want to do that and the fact that Brittany is hosting this buddy read just gives me all the motivation I can hold up the book because I own it <laughs> let me hold the book I have the um split UK editions for Way of Kings so if I can get to this book to buddy read with Brittany and everyone else who's joining that buddy read on the discord server I will be so excited so definitely want to get to Way of Kings as well. Those are the nine books <laughs> that are taking priority for next month. Wow, that is a lot and they are chunky. So <laughs> I'll definitely keep you all updated with mini reviews and review videos throughout the month to let you know my progress on some of these books. Let me know if there's any that you notice that you're really excited about or your favorites or your least favorites. Let me know and down in the comments below. I love chatting with you guys about books. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I release new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And until next time, Thank you.